Hello and welcome to Crumbs the Word Take a Cake. Today's tutorial is chocolate and rose cake. The first thing you'll need is 750 grams of icing sugar and about 125 grams of unsalted butter. I'm using South Downs today. You'll also need mana rose syrup and you can use as much as you want or as little as you want, depends on your taste, but I'm using three tablespoons in the buttercream today to give it a little hint of rose, sort of like an elderflower cordial flavour, but obviously rose scented. I'm also going to be using Sugar Flares Cherry Red Colouring. Basically you need any sort of little bit of red colouring to make this a very gentle pink. Because this is a stiff colouring, I've smeared it on the butter so it'll mix in better. And then we need to whisk this all together to make a buttercream. And when you've got your pale pink buttercream, Pop it in an icing bag, which a piping bag, which is unfortunately just off camera at the time, but it has a Wilton 2D tip in it. And you need to get your cake, and we'll be slicing this into three sections, as it is a crumbs the word chocolate naked occasion cake. It is six inch cake and roughly three inches high. So we're going to cut it first, bottom inch off first. And then we cut the second layer and then we'll put that to one side and then finally just cut a tiny little bit off the tip of the dome we just need a small circle of a flat area at the top for the decoration when the cake is finished so just discard those little bits and tidy it up if there are any little bits sticking up just use a knife to edge it off we're also going to take a pomegranate today to make some of the decoration. You'll need to only use a quarter of the pomegranate for a six inch cake, but it depends on how much you like. You might want to put more on top or not because these are little, like little bursts of freshing flavor that cuts through the buttercream. So once you've got your quarter of pomegranate, scrape out all the bits inside, the beautiful jewels of red there, and make sure you take out every last bit of pith because we just want the little seeds, pop them all into a jar and then put them to one side for the rest of the cake. We take the first layer of cake and we pipe in the rose buttercream. I'm piping a little swirl here so you can see what we do all the way around. We just start from the edge and then carry on until the entire cake is full of those swirls. Then we put another layer on top and we start piping again. Just little flowers all the way around just to give it some height and give it a bit more interest when you put the cake layers on. With the final piece on top, we just put a little swirl of buttercream. Nothing fancy, just splodge it on and then smooth it out. So it's just creating a bit of a flatter surface because we're going to be putting our pomegranate seeds on this section later. So it's just great to have a a base to just get them to stick on because they wouldn't really sit very well on the cake and they might make the cake a little bit stodgy at the top if we didn't have the buttercream protecting it. It doesn't matter if it's a bit messy around the edges, we will be covering that bit with buttercream roses so it won't show. We just pipe a very small buttercream rose all around the edge just like this. And again, if you finish the swirls at the top, it's not going to matter if it's not so perfect at the top because the pomegranate seeds will hide all of those flaws. And we just carry on piping until we get all the way around the cake, just around the edges. Just careful little buttercream roses. Keep moving the plate if you need to so you can make sure you've got it at just the right angle. And then what we're going to do when we finish the buttercream roses is between each rose, we're going to pipe just a little buttercream flower. If you remember the little flowers we did in between the layers, that's what we'll be doing at the top. Uh, my hand unfortunately is blocking it a little bit here, but you will be able to see the little flowers piped in between in just a second. If you can see there, 
just in between each flower a little pipe flower and that just covers up any problems if you had any but it adds an extra barrier for the pomegranate so there we have it the buttercream roses all done little flowers piped and now just to make it shine these pomegranate seeds that are just like little jewels they sparkle so nicely and they add such a wonderful tart and fresh flavour to the cake when you cut into it. So sprinkle as many as you want, pile it as high as you want, although be warned that if you do that you will lose a few when you cut them, but it doesn't really matter. So just pop them on and uh, make sure that there's none of the pith there, there was a little bit of pith that I had to get removed. And so just keep putting them on, making sure the little holes are taken up so it creates a nice pattern on the top of this beautiful, shiny, red, fresh fruit just sitting there looking lovely. One more, just to finish, and I think that's about it. Here you go, this is the finished cake. It's really effective, but so easy to do. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our other tutorials. Thank you.